Hi, this is Tom Rudin, math teacher from Ohio, here to talk to you today about how to find a point equidistant from three points where you can create your own or you can just follow along. Press pause as needed. So in case you think I'm going too fast, you should be aware that there is a PDF uh, that uh, will explain step by step what we're doing, the screenshots, explanations, truly step by step here. And where do you get this information from? This is the website right here, bit.ly forward slash inspired geometry. It is case sensitive, the N and the G must be capitalized. Always press pause as needed. Again, here's the website. And after we do this construction, I'll show you this in a, in a colorful, very colorful solution. All right, so here we're given three points. And what we want to do is find the single point that is equidistant from each one of them. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to click on the tools menu right here. And what we want to do is um, get a perpendicular bisector of segment AB. And I don't even have to draw in segment AB if I don't want to. So I'm going to go down to construction and down to number three perpendicular bisector. And again, this is all in the PDF. So if I'm going too fast. Remember, it's, it's there for you. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and say I want to find the perpendicular between these two points right here. And there is that line right there. So what I'd like to do is put a, a point on that line that will move along it. So I go back to Tools, down to Points and Lines, and now number two, Point On. And I'll click on this twice, once to say I want the line and once to put the point on. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a capital R there. Why R? Why not? And press Escape to turn off this uh, tool. So there's that point R. And point R will now go along that line anywhere. In fact, I can stretch it out all the way there. All right? Now what I'd like to do is show that this point is equidistant from these two points. So I'm going to go over here to the Tools, Measurement, and go to Length, and calculate the length from R to A, and drag that over here, and from R to B, and drag that over here, and notice that they are the same for that particular point R. Tool's still on, so I'll press Escape to turn it off. And watch what happens when I grab point R and pull it. It is always equidistance from point A and B, even if it goes off the screen always the same distance from A as it is from B. Okay, So we're going to do the same thing with B and C, and that is go back to Tools, construct a perpendicular bisector between B and C. So from B to C, and there is that line there. Again, I'll press Escape to turn off the tool, and I'm going to put a point on that line, click it twice, <coughs> and put a capital S for that one, and press escape to turn off that tool as well. And I'm going to do the same thing also, find the distance from S to B and S to C. So tools, measurement, <coughs> excuse me, length, S to C, put that over here. I'm sorry, S to B, S to C, put that over here. And for this one point here, they happen to be the same, which is a good thing. Press escape, turn that off. And again, I'll grab point S, and no matter where point S is, it's equidistant from B and C. But what I wanted to do was find the point that's equidistant from all three, not just two at a time. So I know that Every point along here is equidistant from A and B, and every distance from here is, is equidistant from B and C. So where those two lines intersect, it should be equidistant from all three. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those lines out there and find the intersection of that point. And so I'll go back to Tools, Points and Lines, and Intersection Point. And I'll say I want the intersection of this line and this line, and you can see that point showed up. And I'm going to call that uh, point T and press escape to turn that off. 
And now let's find the distance from T to A, T to B, and T to C, and see if they are the same all the time. So again, measurement length from T to A, down here, T to B, well, that looks promising, and T to C, that looks very promising. Press escape to turn off the tool. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab point A and pull that. And no matter what, T is equidistant from those. Do B and do C. Now this doesn't prove it for all time. It just shows it proves for all these different locations. But we have a pretty good idea that this works. Press pause as needed. So let's go ahead and look at a document that's a little bit easier to read. So I have triangle ABC connected here, and I got the perpendicular bisector for um, uh, segment AB. And I can see that P to A and P to B is, is the same distance. And even if I grab B and move it, there we go, it's always the same distance. And also I have line N is the perpendicular bisector. So I can go ahead and show that those are equidistant as well. But then when I find the intersection point, I have the distance from R to A, R, B, and R, C the same. And again, I can go ahead and grab A, B, and C and see that all those distances, no matter what, are the same in each pair or triple. Very, very powerful, very, very colorful, using color here to distinguish things. Hope you enjoyed it.